Hello, this is your channel Sosa NASA One. My name is Emmanuel, and now I'm going to show you how to use this digital multimeter to test this water pump starting capacitor. This is very easy using this digital multimeter. The first step is set up this digital multimeter in this way. Here, take the test probe and the negative, this is the black, connect here in cone. Ready. Now, take the red or the positive and connect here milliamperes in this point because this point and this point is for measure capacitor how i know very easy if you read this cx means capacitor test and connect this here now the test probe is connected correctly The next step is choose here the mode to test capacitor. In this case, I mean F means farad, is the unit to measure the capacity of the capacitor. For choose one level of this inside this mode, First, we need to read on the capacitor how many microfarads has the capacitor. Here, let me see. If we read here, 10 microfarads, more or less 5%. This is the mistake percent. In this case, 10 microfarads. With this number, now I can choose here a level higher than 10 microfarads. In this case, 20 nanofarads, 200 nanofarads, 2 microfarads, 200 microfarads. In this case, we are going to choose here 200 microfarads because it's higher than 10 microfarads that we did read on the capacitor. With this selector, move and choose 200 microfarads. It's the same number that we are reading on the digital multimeter screen. Now, our digital multimeter is ready to test this capacitor. Okay. Now, take the capacitor and take the test probe and do this. Touch this with this using this test probe. This is for discharge the capacitor because now I don't know if this capacitor has energy inside. For discharge the capacitor, touch this and this in this way. Okay. Okay. Now it's safe touch with my finger this point together. But remember, always discharge the capacitor before connect to the digital multimeter and touch this with our fingers. Okay. 
now now you can subscribe to our channel Sosanasa One in English and activate the notification bell. Give me a like. Let's continue with the video. Now, touch this test probe here. If you watch here on the capacitor, in this case, this capacitor don't have any symbol or sign of negative and positive. Means this capacitor, like we are reading on the capacitor, ultra current voltage type. This is the type of this capacitor. For this reason, this capacitor don't have positive or negative. Let me see, touch here with the black test probe and touch here and touch here with the red test probe and watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this capacitor has 10.6 microfarads. It means this capacitor is in excellent condition in this case. Because the 0.6 or 0.5 is the mistake percent. And the 10 microfarads is the normal value of this capacitor. It means this capacitor is in excellent condition. In this case. This capacitor is good, it's working correctly because the number on the capacitor, 10 microfarads, is more or less the same that we did read on the digital multimeter, 10.5.6 is normally because here we have a percent of mistake, more or less. In this case, it was more 5%, more or less. And in this way, you can test a capacitor like this using a digital multimeter like this, using this mode. Turn off the digital multimeter. Thank you for watching. Give me a like and share this video. Now I have a very important message for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Subscribe to our channel Sosa NASA One in English and activate the notification bell to receive the notification every Saturday of new videos.